Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher and it is time for another eyeshadow palette rankings video. It's that time of the month. Okay, yeah, anyway, it's my favorite time, my favorite video. I love to do this where I take all of the eyeshadow palettes that I have used for the month and I attempt to rank them by favorites and by, you know, like how much I'll use some, how wearable they are. There's a lot of different factors that go into it. And keep in mind that my opinions may be different from yours. Like if you're more into say really colorful makeup versus neutrals, if you travel more and want more portable things, you know, all of those kind of factors may be different from person to person, but I attempt to rank everything and I share with you why I ranked it that way. And I also include pictures of all of the looks that I've created with these palettes this month um, when I have them. For the most part, I have most of them, I think. So I love to do that for you. So if all of that interests you, stick around and we will dive right on in. All right, so welcome if you're new here. We do a lot of beauty boxes here, lots of unboxings, mystery boxes, specialty boxes, a little lifestyle sprinkled in. And I love to do a lot of the latest reviews and all of that, beauty news, you name it. So if all of that's your vibe, you'll wanna stick around. I definitely am an eyeshadow palette junkie. I have to do declutters ever so often now because I keep getting more and more. I've got a couple more on the way that are very exciting. Be looking for those reviews coming. Um, I don't know if they will happen before or after this video. I've got so many videos to film this month. And also be looking for a fragrance video too, where we're going to do a similar idea as this one. I'm going to rank all of the fragrances that I have worn for the month and how I've layered them. So that one's going to be a new series as well. So let's get started. I like to rank these in order from least favorite to favorite. So we go with um, the last place and save first place for the end and build up the suspense. So I've counted 23 eyeshadow palettes that I used this month. Now I do have a few like single shadows or um, pigments or toppers that I've also used. If it's not in a palette form though, I've decided I think I'm not gonna include it, um, but I will probably include it more in my monthly hits and misses video. Um, so be looking for that there too, because I have a few of note that were just single pigments. And I know I've included that kind of stuff in the past, but I feel like it's not really a true palette and this is a palette ranking video. So um, now if it's just like two, like if it's a duo or a quad, I'm gonna include it. But if it's just a single like, shadow or topper, then we'll put that in another place. All right, so coming in at number 23 is my tried and true ColourPop quad here. This is the down to earth. Y'all see this every month. The reason that I use this every month is because I tend to use it more for eyeliner. I like to do a dry liner as a wing and underneath the um, eyes as well. I kind of line, which is a dark eyeshadow, and this is just very convenient. I keep it in my little vanity on my table, and so it's just an easy reach to whenever I do a dry liner. I didn't do it today. I have on an actual liquid liner, but like I usually do the same idea, but with some of the colors in this. And so it still comes in last because it's not very exciting, but it is very, very functional, comes in such handy for me, so I still love it even if it's ranked in last. Okay, and then I've got a few more like smaller ones again that are coming in the last places here. And a lot of why it's in last place is just because it's so small, there's not very many colors. So not many exciting things you can do with it. It doesn't mean it's a bad little palette. It just means there's not much to it. So the next one um, that I used this month was the Shanna B Miami. And I tested it out because I just wanted to see, do I want to declutter this eventually? And so I kind of try to test some out when I'm thinking about decluttering. I think I am gonna declutter it, not because it's bad. I think this is a great little, you know, duo. I love the summery colors in it. I think it is perfect uh, Miami vibes as it is named. And I like this little brand. We get it in Ipsy a lot. And I think I got this in an Ipsy glam bag. And for a while, I really have been keeping it because I was like, oh, it's a perfect, simple look, you know. But I've gotten to where now I'm like, I have so many palettes and I have a lot of other travel palettes too. So. I'm not keeping it as much now just for the convenience. So you'll probably see it show up in my next eyeshadow palette declutter. Um, and that's part of why it's just coming in last is not much I can do with it. Similarly, we I tried out this cute little thing from, I think I got it in the Medusa's makeup box. 
last month and I just wanted to try it out. Again, it's really small. So it's one that like, I don't know how much I'll reach for it with just only a couple of colors in there. But the colors that I did try really made a very cute, really pretty sparkly look. Um, it could get decluttered too eventually just because it's it would be so perfect for my little nieces. They'd love to play with this. But I did really love the cute colors in it and the colors that it made. All right next, I went ahead and played with my Pixie palette too. Um, this is called the Rosette Ray and I got it a while ago and I have really loved it. And when I first got it, I just I adored this and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it so much and I love it for like fall and all that. But since I have so many palettes now, and I go back to play with it, it's not as exciting as before. And I feel like maybe somebody else might get a little more use out of it than me. Um, Cause it makes a great little convenient thing. And I love Pixie. So it's great. I like the colors, but it's just ranking a little behind all the other amazing, exciting ones. Great fall looks you can make with it. Um, but I might be decluttering this one too on the next round. And I know if you've seen my declutter videos, you'll know that like I've loved it. So you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe she's decluttering it. It's just that I've got that rule that when I get so many drawers filled up of eyeshadow palettes, something's got to go. And this is following it less priority than the others. All right, next up, we have that Beauty Vault palette that we got in the Ipsy Glam Bag. And I did my try on video earlier in the month for you guys. And it was from this cute little palette. I ended up really, really liking this a lot. Um, and now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I really want to play with this even more. I have it ranked fairly low just because, you know, I don't know. It's, it's just ranked behind a lot of my other fun palettes I tried out. But I really loved that plum and smoky, like, look that it gave. And I, this ended up being my favorite look of the three palettes we got in Ipsy. So, but it probably was my least favorite palette of them all, even though I really love it. It's just the others had some great looks and other features too that I don't know. So, but anyway, so, so it was hard to rank this, but I think that's how I rank it overall. And then the next one was the Il Maquillage that we got in Icon Box this month and I did a try on with it too. Um, less exciting to me. I think I've just seen these colors over and over from the other quads I've gotten from Il Maquillage. So I'm getting kind of bored of the same colors they keep sending. And, you know, I've got three of their quads and then this bigger one. Um, but I still love Il Maquillage so much that I still rank it a little higher. I'm just, I'm not feeling these colors right now, even though they're fairly good for fall, but I'm just not into like the burgundies and stuff as much these days. So it's just ranking a little lower at the moment. And then I got a new ColourPop palette in from ColourPop. They actually gifted this to me in PR. And so this might be my first ColourPop PR. So I was very excited. Um, it's called Deja Brew and it just makes a great neutrals palette. So it was really nice. I really like this one. However, I don't love it as much as another similar one from ColourPop, so which we'll get to later in this video. So it just kind of ranked here in the middle um, just because there wasn't as much like super special about it. It's just a nice little neutrals, um, very convenient. And if you just need a good neutrals palette that's affordable in ColourPop, that you know the formula of ColourPop, you know, then grab it. Then another ColourPop one that's in a trance. So I got this in that latest mystery bundle palette. I'm going to be very careful how I hold it up because all my ColourPop palettes fall apart whenever I hold it up like this and it happens on screen. But this is just so pretty. It's like these pretty little like bubble gummy pastel colors. Um, so I think it's just gorgeous. I think it's going to be gorgeous for spring. And so I think it's just not quite where I'm at at the moment. Um, I'm really into fall colors right now, but it's going to be so pretty. Like, I mean, definitely love the little sparkles in it. So still ranks up there a little bit. So then the next one is the Ofra palette that we got, the mini mix palette that we got in Ipsy or BoxyCharm. And this is another one I did a try on with, um, and it is that collab with Hot Mess Mama. So, um, which I'm glad you guys told me about. I don't know why I didn't realize that. And so with this palette, I really liked it, especially for the face 
products in it. Like that's actually my favorite part is, and you can see I've really used the contour. I love this part and that shimmer right there. You guys know I'm a shimmer girl. So when I get eyeshadow that's like all mattes, I'm usually like, eh, unless it's like made to be for pro makeup, like the Makeup by Mario Neutrals mattes or something like that. But in general, I'm not really a mattes girl, especially when it's like all dark eyeshadow. Um, so you can create some amazing fun looks. And I know so many of you guys were so excited to get this palette in Ipsy. So I don't want to knock it too much because it was, it's a great palette to have. And I don't blame you guys just for me personally. Um, not into mattes. I'm not into a lot of really dark shadows. I mean, they have their occasional use and I did feel like the mattes were a little patchy to work with. Um, but I absolutely loved the face part of it and this, and this will be good in general here and there. So that's why it's ranking maybe just a little bit in the middle for me. So, okay. And then I got this one in our ice cream beauty box. This is my first Gourmand Girls palette. Check out how gorgeous that is. I still have it ranked a little bit in the middle only because of the try on when I went to put it on. I like, I, I think the look just came out so different than I had envisioned and it like the favorite colors of mine were all the shimmers in here. I think I just need to play with it a little bit more. I wanted to play with all of them, all of the shimmers and see what they look like. And I think it was just too much everywhere. So I had a harder time feeling inspired and like blending these colors well. So I think, but I haven't given it a fair, um, use. I've only played with it once, but I absolutely loved, you know, the swatches and the colors of this. It's so tropical and summery. I think it's a collab also with Lady Blood, Ladybug Glow too. It's called the Paradise Cove. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And I was excited for this one. Um, just need to play some more, I think. And I don't know why I, but I did actually rank this higher. Colourpop, uh-huh, honey. I think it's just like, I really was not expecting to like this at all because it's like all bright yellows, but I did end up comparing this one to the Natasha Denona golden palette and I love the golden palette. So I, I don't think that reel has shown yet. I'm going to have a reel out there showing you guys the comparison, but what I did, like spoiler alert here, what I did find out was this is definitely brighter than the golden one, but it still gives you the same kind of golden goddess vibes idea. This one's definitely taking on a much brighter yellowy golden look though. Um, hers is a little more subtle golden, like rustier golden almost. Um, but because I was like loving that same vibe, I ended up ranking it a little bit higher here. And then you're probably going to be like, how are you ranking this higher than some of these gorgeous, colorful ones? But I don't know, just my little tried and true MAC um, little six pan here. I just love this. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, the sparkle you see on my eyes, though, is more from adding a little Stila topper, Stila, however you say that. And then I just use like this as my transition, but it just serves me well. Um, a lot of times as a base for other toppers like this, it's great for travel. I like how the colors look on me personally. And sometimes I use these darker colors for my eyeliner too. Like I actually only used this for my eyeliner today. And I don't know, I just I have like a sentimental attachment to this as well. So I, you know, I just, I love it still. All right, we have Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And I got it recently because I was so in that like grunge mood and I was thinking I'm going to love it for fall. So far, like it's falling a little behind my other favorite Natasha Denona palettes. Like it's just, I'm not, I don't know. Whenever I play with it all, I don't create looks that I just absolutely love. Like it's okay, but I'm not. I'm not feeling it as much. I think I had all these envisions of it. I think I was envisioning it to be similar to the Huda Beauty grunge palette. And I really wanted the grunge palette and I got this one instead because I love my Natasha Nona, but kind of have a little FOMO and wish I had gotten the Huda Beauty one. I don't know if they're fairly similar though, but anyway, I just, um, I think I did create more of like a pink look at one point, but then I mostly made like more grays, smoky ashy, you know, type looks. So it's just kind of been so-so. So I've got it in the middle. 
And then the Il Maquillage palette I do always seem to go back to and really love is this Boss Babe Quad. And this one's just, um, what's the name of this one? Workaholic. It is the most like, I don't want to say it's totally neutral because it's got more browns, but it's just these perfect colors. And I always just, I always wear this one when I need just a fairly neutral and fall and like just plain look, but that still looks really posh. And it has a touch of that shimmer in it that kind of pops and sparkles. And I still just love it. I love the formula on this one. And it just creates that perfect look for me. And it's a go-to that I know what look it's going to create. And I just do it over and over again. So this is just a tried and true, boring to probably most, but I just love it. And then next we have my good old ABH Soft Glam Palette. I wanted to give it another run. Um, you know, I just, sometimes I love to create the pinks out of this. And other times it makes some great, like almost not burnt orange, I guess, yeah, like kind of a burnt orange, you know, uh, occasionally a pop of yellow or smoky. So it's just, it's an old favorite palette and I just reach for it ever so often. So that one still ranks fairly high for me. All right. A couple of the next two are from Moon Slice Beauty. And this was in our ice cream beauty box the last month prior. Okay, so what happened was I selected the blue one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but the other choice you can make was the more pinky purple one. And what happened was a friend got the pinky purple one in hers and then ended up just sending me hers as a gift. My Mela, she always sends. Y'all hear me talk about Mela all the time. Um, so I wasn't expecting that. And I was like, Mela, and knew that I loved that blue one. Uh, but I ended up liking this one too. And so I did a little try out with it and loved it. And so honestly, both of these Moon Slice Beauty ones are amazing and so cute. I love it so much. I ended up liking the blue one just a little bit better. I love, love, loved the look it created. And I don't wear blue that often. I mean, I, my shirt, obviously, but what I did create with it is gorgeous. So I do wear it occasionally. And when I want to create that, this was just such a unique um, palette for me and absolutely love this. So this ranked just a little bit higher, but still pretty close. I really loved both palettes. All right, now we're getting into like the last six, the top six favorite palettes. And these are just the true like favorite classics of mine. Um, a few you're not gonna be surprised about because you see them over and over in my videos. Sorry, it just, they're my favorites. And there's a couple that kind of got added or like new, but yeah, we'll talk about them. All right, so number six is gonna be Natasha Denona Xenon palette. Still absolutely love this palette so, so, so much. Lots of blue leaning shades on me, but then I can create a little bit of like a light smoky and silvery one too. This I think I'm gonna be really reaching for in the winter here and the holidays coming up, but I still love it for year round. Like I just, absolutely love it. This is one of my all-time favorites. Um, I think it's just, you know, I'm kind of in like fall mode at the moment, so I'm wearing a lot more warm tones, so this one isn't there quite as much. So that means that my number five is the Natasha Denona Golden Palette, and this is the one I was comparing to that Uh Huh Honey, but this one has a little bit different gold tones in it. Same idea though. Um, but it still remains a favorite. It was my number one when it first came out, but it's dropped just a little bit just because I've discovered others or ones I've just been reloving again. Um, but I still love that I can create some neutral looks, but then I also still just love those goldens. And it's just that time of year right now that I'm really wanting to wear it more so than in the summer when it came out. Then my number four, I just have revived my love for my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. And it just, it's so even though I don't always reach for like the burgundies, like I said, but these just make perfect like fall burgundies. I don't know. They're, they're warmer toned. I think, I think I'm just not as into like the cool tone burgundies right now. These are a little warmer on me. Like they just make this perfect, well, heat as it implies, like sexy. And like, I just, I'm loving this for like fall vibes and I love the formula still. And I just I always reach for my naked heat palette. And then number three, so this is the new discovery from one of the, I think it was from the surprise bundle also, the ColourPop Mystery Bundle, and that's Going Coconuts. Oh my gosh, this is a new favorite palette, and I know a lot of people love it. 
and I see why. It is so beautiful. It is perfect neutrals, but makes these gorgeous, shimmering, buttery, buttery pops of like champagne, you know, shimmers. And I did compare it to my number two, and we'll talk about this, okay? The Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. Um, very, very similar. I made almost the exact same look with both palettes, and I have a reel out there talking about it, but honestly, I felt like I actually liked the Going Coconuts better than the Natasha Denona. Isn't that crazy? But on that look, but I still decided to make Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude, still my number two, ranking it a little higher because of the fact that you can do more with it. So I'm not limited to just those like neutrals and champagnes. I can also add in some of these more peachy colors too, a little darker in there, you know, so you have more to choose from in the Natasha Denona. Um, so this is still one of my all-time favorite palettes of all time. And I think that is the same for most people. I do have, I need a warm coming any moment. That's one of the palettes I will be bringing you. And I'm going to make my video be focused on comparing this one to the warm because it's, I need a warm and I need a nude. When are we getting, I need a cool. Maybe that's what Xenon palette. I will bet you though, that probably the next one's going to be, I need a cool. And a lot of people want that. They're like, where are the cool tones guys? <laughs> Natasha Denona doesn't do a lot of cool tones. I, you know, Anyway, we'll get on that subject in that video, but basically this is still just my all-time, one of my all-time favorites. Like, so you see this over and over and over again. It's still ranked at number two because my number one brand new is this Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. Oh my gosh, this is my first Sigma palette. I love Sigma. I've done a lot of Sigma other things, but not their eyeshadow palette. And you guys, I am so in love with their formula. I don't know how to describe it. It is the silkiest, smoothest, butteriest. Like, I think I liked this better than any of my Natasha Denona palettes. Like, it is an incredible formula. I don't know if they're all like that, but this one was so beautiful. And the looks that it creates are so me. Those pinks, the warms. Like, I don't think I've played with this one yet, but I am so in love. I am so, so in love. This was a gift from Mela too. Like, that girl... I am so spoiled. I don't know what I did to deserve all this wonderful, all these presents, but she spoils me. And this was like probably the favorite best gift she has ever given me. And she's given me a lot of good ones, but this one, oh, this is my favorite. And it might be my favorite now of all time. We'll see. We'll see. I, I yeah, but it's perfect because it says warm neutrals, but yet it gives off this very soft pink look. Sometimes you can make the warms, but it also has like this kind of mauvey, pretty pinky color too. So, so much you can do with it, but I think it's just like the overall blend formula and all the, the looks that it makes are all me, like my kind of colors and stuff. So, yep, this is my number one. This is the winner for the month. So, that was everything, guys. Uh, what did you think? Do you agree with these? Do you have any of these and love them? Um, lots came from beauty boxes and some my own purchases, you know, just a mix. But yeah, so that wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed that. And let me know what all you've been wearing this month and are loving. Stick around because I do this ranking every month. And like I said, you'll want to stick around for us to start on the fragrance rankings as well. And a couple of these new palettes coming in. I definitely have the Natasha Denona I Need a Warm coming for you. And I've also got uh, the new Orgy 2 palette coming from Jeffree Star. Actually, I got both of his Orgies. I'm going to try to compare those as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of reviews here. And I'm hoping and planning to get the new Chanel Fall Collection. So I'm probably going to pick up at least one of the Chanel eyeshadow palettes. So we have a lot of reviews to cover here soon. Make sure you stick around and stay tuned on it. Pop that subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!